Final Fantasy VIII. I am especially excited for this because I have not played Final Fantasy VIII in quite a few years and I certainly have not played this remastered version which I'm very excited to watch. I know um, it will be a little bit different of a playthrough compared to Final Fantasy IX in the sense of still be quiet for the most part, you know, let the text dialogue um, play out. But um, Final Fantasy IX, I've played and completed about four times in the last year and a half. Final Fantasy VIII, I haven't in quite some time. So we're going to be rocking some of the side quests here and there. It's going to be more of a... I don't know how in-depth we'll get into the card games. Maybe we'll play the big dogs, but it's definitely going to be a lot more in-depth to certain things comparatively. But without further ado, we're going to click this button. And we're going to click this button and just a forward greatest video game intro ever. It's pretty up there. Maybe not greatest, but let's watch. Right, let's watch after we see this. What's up with this? It's also exciting. I don't know any of the boosts and stuff like that. Oh, you gotta click all kinds of buttons for no random battles. Oh lordy. It's not a menu like Final Fantasy IX. We'll figure it out, folks. Let's, let's not fret. Whew. 
just holding my breath. What a phenomenal intro. The character models already look phenomenal. Whew. Oh, that intro. Indeed. Still gonna be Squall. Not into changing the names around personally. Fun little story, super quick. When I was young, I never, the first time I played through this game, I never saw that it was Quistus. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I never saw that first S. So I grew up thinking it was Quittus or something crazy like that. I don't know how I never saw that S. I can't blame the PS1 graphics on that, but there you go. Oh, it's quite a treat seeing this game updated. The visuals are phenomenal. Comparatively, I think they're great, great still for today.
Conjunction anybody yet. Final Fantasy VIII had such a weird, weird leveling system. Because all the monsters level with you. Ooh. System. You always only need a thousand experience to level up, and monsters don't ever out level you per se. They just um, they level with you. So even stuff that you run into in the beginning of the game when you're not leveled will fly right up there towards the end as you level. Very interesting. Quetzalcoatl, bam, trophy, Shiva, uh. oops, I'm putting all kinds of buffs on, I don't know what to do, there we go, I'm trying to get out of this tutorial. Oh no, they have me trapped. No, they don't. Right, let's get a junction on. Of course, this is how you do any of your abilities, is based on a GF. If you don't have a GF, you can't do anything but attack, which is kind of rough. The system's wildly different than anything in any of the games. Oh, you're not going to let me go back? Oh yeah, you are. We're going to draw from this real quick. 
Now, magic is also vastly different. It's not learned, it's found. And you stalk them. And after that, you increase your stats. That didn't go up because four isn't very much at all. What this means is when you get some of the crazy magics, you become wildly and massively broken. <laughs> it is pretty wild. Alright, we gotta try and stay on this road. As long as we stay on the road, not that it matters. Here we go. No encounters. The nice thing about other monsters leveling up with you is you don't gotta worry about being over leveled or under leveled. You just gotta worry about your magic. That being said, there's no min-maxing like in Final Fantasy IX with gear. You don't got gear, you just got GFs. You do have gear, you have weapons. Yes, I already know. Which, speaking of... I know, there's a lot. Where... Hmm. The gun blade on the PS1 was a option if you wanted to have to pull the trigger yourself or the game automatically did it. I always pulled the trigger myself because it made me feel like a BA. literally, I don't know either, it's giving me a time limit. I always pick 40, you don't get anything special by doing it in 10. Why, why give you the stress? Don't know. Some draw points are hidden, which is rough when you're trying to find good magic that you can equip. And a lot of the top tier um, draw points for high end magic is hidden, and once you find them, of course, you're good because you always know where to go. But until then, you don't know what to do or where to go. Neither can do anything for me, that's fine. UGFs learn abilities. Summoning magic is just how much damage they do. This you can turn people into cards, you can raise your character stats, and you can junction more magic to other stuff. Now some magic is better for some things than others, like HP would like the life magic as opposed to the ice magic. Vitality would like cure life as opposed to bio, so on and so forth. Attack likes attack magic and that kind of thing. <sighs> it doesn't super matter too crazy much what you kind of run into. We're going to refine lightning and wind magic from an item. I like doing that because that can help give you a boost. These are honestly just kind of irrelevant. It's just nice to fill out the pages because eventually you can just <laughs> boost your stats to all get out anyways. It must be really hot in here. These guys are troopers just walking around in this hellacious lava cavern.
for when you're going to use a summon. Your summon is now your health bar. Any damage the enemies do, they do it to your summon and not you. And as soon as that thing's down, bam! And the more you use the summon, the more it starts to like, quote unquote, like you and be familiar with you, and the quicker it'll go. So you can get summons popping up real quick and keep your team real safe if you got a good, good healthy mix of summons. Shiva? Oh no! Alright, we're gonna draw... What is this? Stock it. You can cast it. I'm not, not interested in casting it, like, ever. Eight scans. Interesting. We are gonna draw some fires. Everything's going to Squall. We should dump all the magic into Squall. We're gonna have one super character. there's a boost option so while you're doing it you can press a button that I don't quite remember off on the top of my head right now and you can rapid fire the heck out of a square and boost your summons damage it's pretty nice Shiva, flash and quick. Oh, oh, I thought that was it. Oh boy. The audio is a little wonky on that one, huh? I'm gonna attack with Squall real quick because I'm feeling a gun blade move. It. I think it should still be R1. I need some practice. Dang it. Maybe I should have asked Quistus to tell me how to use my own weapon. Ooh, look at that crit. Nope, that AR too. That is for certain. It's gotta be R1. There we go. My timing was a little slow. Oh, got him. Feet earned. Oh, I'm really good. Like, I'm sure you're a good instructor, but. Yeah, you can attack. 
attack with elements, you can be immune to statuses, it's absolutely crazy the stuff that you can use in this game. Another little thing is you don't want to have two opposing elements on one person, because when you try and summon with one, your familiarity and likeness will go down with the other, meaning that they will be slower, which isn't ideal. Every time you beat a GF, you get their card. I don't have any cards. There's a card. Look at that. Ooh, they changed the cards up. That's interesting. Normally before, the card would have been Ifrit's face, just all up in that frame. But now we got the all of Ifrit in there. Monster boss, GF player. Again, the difference between the cards in this game and Final Fantasy IX is every single monster in the game has a card. Every single boss in the game has a card. So I guess essentially you could spoil some bosses. I was playing and I would get all these cards because I was just suckered and drawn right into the card aspect of both games. And I would see these monsters and I'm just like, my god, what, what is this? This game wants me to fight. Or what is this boss that's going to end my life? Yeah, that's about it. You can go through this whole game at level one if you want. It'd be a little crazy. Doable. There's, there's a lot of um, a lot of management to make sure everybody is ideal as can be. If you let them die in battle, they like you less. That's basically what that was going to amount to. I feel like with the drastic difference in how stats just a lot works, it wasn't very well received. And I see a lot of, oh, it's just convoluted. And, and I can see how it would be very user friendly after such a precedent had been set for so many games. But once you get the hang of it, it is just wildly easy and there's nothing hard about it whatsoever. It just seems daunting with all the junctionable abilities and this, that, and the other. It gets a little... feels a little lost in the weeds, but it's really not that bad. Definitely going to be talking more <laughs> for this series, because I haven't played this in so long, and it's fun to talk about it. Just the different various aspects. The save stations here are so much better than Moogles. Those conspiracing... Conspiracing what? Conspiring heathen animals of Final Fantasy IX that could have avoided all events if they would have just... Uh, I don't remember which one's my room. Let's go on an adventure together, folks. What does this say? Cafeteria, where they talk about hot dogs a lot. If you didn't know, I think this is my room. It says dormitory, but it really just seems like it's only Squall's room, because you just automatically go there after you go through a hallway. Let's go into a mystery dorm room, because I'm sure they appreciate that. Nothing in here. You just gotta really appreciate the character model. Because he had quite the pixelated face and had that little hair that's pretty parallel with his scar. Looked like just a spiky rod sticking down out of his head. Looked like a glitch more than anything. It was beautiful. What an era. The 
time to be alive. Man, you can't wear any uniform right on this wall. Just white t-shirt and it up. Must be friends with T.I. Zelda's cool combos when he has limit break and it's really nifty and you learn it by reading magazines that's what that amounted to I don't know if it tells you that you learn it from magazines but I told you that you learn it from magazines Wow, Remastered Sid is quite the sight. Wow, just take that in for a minute. Wow. Alright, let's read these text boxes, huh? turn <laughs> they turned him into a backdrop huh that's rough that's crazy 
Look at that. Sid's been reduced to a backdrop. It looks terrible. I don't want to get a move on, Quissus. Uh, Sid, you're going to turn into a highlight. You keep looking like that. That is wild. right through the dirt. Tell me to drive a vehicle in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just going right in. I was about to leave that, that vehicle out in the outskirts. Yelling at me, jeez. Let's go, folks. Impeccable controls. Truly.
so I will hold firm to that. This junction things I always have Zell in my party, so Zell gets the good old quits. I've always played it him like that. Yep, you have who you're gonna have. You have who you're gonna get for now. This is some some pump music. I'll take on the G army myself with this music. Crazy to think about it. We're a mercenary group and they called upon us. We're just gonna run up in here and. Yeah, we go. Oh, killing it with the gunblade triggers. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that you, when you think about it, it's just a mercenary group. Hey, go kill some G Army people. And. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I feel like there'd be some serious repercussions going up against a uh, country's army. I guess maybe not when your soldiers are trash. Because <laughs> these guys are trash. Quite sure what was up with that. Struck first, and they didn't strike first. They got struck down first. statue. Oh, you got critted to death. That's a shame.
there's no going in like a curvature when you're walking. <laughs> you're only going straight or you're suddenly taking a 90. Ah, oh, I missed it. What a shame. That's that. They've all been slain. It's all leveled up. I guess that's a good point from earlier, huh? You don't start at level 1, so you can't have much of a level 1 run. You can have a level 8 run. No, you can't, because you got to fight them. I guess you could dump it all on Cypher. I don't know, it doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about that in this game. Dog snitched on them. They knew it too. They're looking around. They're like, oh, we just got snitched on by a dog. I'm gonna go. Very long bridge. Beautiful scenery. Very long bridge. Everybody's injured.
That just reminded me, everybody's injured. I have four Phoenix Downs. I approve of four Phoenix Downs. I don't need to talk to you guys, you're all wounded. They're all wounded, folks. Let's not worry about them. Saturday Scream presents Final Fantasy Friday. Jokes. Site for asking for the experience. I freaking go to hell. My boy Squall's getting it. Oh, I forgot that. I didn't miss the trigger on that one. It's kind of zoned out. I didn't miss it on that one. I ended that one. Trash. Trash. Disappointed in myself. touch. You heard me complain in Final Fantasy 9 about magic being just not that great. Because you run out of MP, right? Yep, you can self-induce your limit break. It's pretty phenomenal. That was weird. I guess I don't know what box I'm supposed to hit. Trash. Disappointed in myself. Uh oh, don't die on me, Squall. Look at that. Oh. Good lord. Perfect. It's like I never left Final Fantasy VIII. Screw you, Cypher, you're not getting the last kill. Last hit for the kill. Nice. Learning those abilities. Triggered. <laughs> Heavily. So, I guess there will be some monster fighting here and there because to upgrade certain things on your GF, you will need to have certain items learned and you definitely need a lot of materials. A lot of it's pretty rare materials here and there. So if you're not fighting stuff, it's not ideal particularly. The nice thing is as you obtain more and more GFs, you can... So if you have two equipped to you that, you know, you're running a theme on somebody, they both have junctions magic to HP, you'll be able to get an item where they forget an ability. So you can get rid of one of those HPs and now suddenly, bam, you can learn something else and it frees up a slot and you can junction to something else or something else or another. It's pretty customizable eventually.
Zell's so needy. Poor guy. Oh look, it's the person we didn't help out. Oops. They're helping us out though. fully understand Zell is a faller to my death in many a game for the environment. I do understand that it is a cliff. We are going to jump off of it. forgotten yet. Funny that they keep asking me if I've forgotten. Hmm. A lot of forgetting in this game already. I wonder if that could be a thing. I guess you'll just have to keep watching the series to find out, huh? Now, I don't know, I know, of course, in the Final Fantasy IX remaster, you could just click continue from the title screen if you fell in battle. So I guess, spoiler, we're going to have a battle that we might fall in. So I am going to save the game. Uh, once I reboot it, the next time I'll be able to see... Oh, perfect. I was just going to mention that because in nine, of course, it takes you to a system save. So, of course, the video cuts out and you see a blue screen, but this one doesn't, so we're good. We're going to save a lot. We're going to save a lot, folks. I like saving. It feels safe, and it is the RPG way. Save a day keeps the game over away. Just kidding. That's a lot of grinding for levels, really.
definitely want to keep an eye on their ranks. Which, I don't think he's major. Not entirely sure. I can't remember what Wedge is. Wedge is the NCO of the two. Oh, trash. I only hit three times. I got rough divide, though. I'm about to divide this individual. I'm going to divide his rank off of him. Yes, keep watch on their ranks. So I'll have to take a peek to see what Wedge is ranked. Must be Sergeant or something. Then I think Wedge is major in this. Yeah, like I said, you can just keep your people in the yellow. And then just trash them constantly. Oh, Major Biggs. Here we go. Okay, so we don't know what Wedge is yet. Look all body hands are terrible to their troops. Wedge just got Article 15, the poor guy. Field grade. He's, he's going somewhere. A little Renzo cooking in your diet. Oh, I'm still so good at this game. Just Renzo cooking for life. Selfie to smack him with a nunchuck. a good one though. That six hit. That six hit's a nice one. Gosh. Uh-oh. He died. <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. It's the uh that's why I checked about those Phoenix Downs. <laughs> I'm gonna perpetually play this game with yellow health. Fret not, folks. We're gonna make it through it, though, because we're just gonna Renzo Kook and everything to death after we junction crazy magic onto our stats that make us immune to status ailments. I'm just kidding, you can't quite get that, that far. Oh, we're just gonna play games with this now. We're gonna play when does Renzo Kook and show up on the third one. I definitely feel like it's better to play with that active ATB more than a, a weight because there's a lot of weight and sometimes depending on how much GF you use. God, these guys have health for days. This is why they have health for days. Look at that freaking thing. It's beautiful. First time I fought this guy, I didn't have any GFs. First time I fought this guy, I lost really, really badly. Ah! Oh my god, I trashed that to hell. Bosses are different when he does their into cooking, so... Now, what you want to pay attention to is, you might be wondering to yourself, but streamer, how do I get more GFs? Well, let me tell you. You get it from bosses. Certain bosses. Look, I just got Siren. That's another one. Ugh, that was even worse. Now, not every GF is from a boss. And just because if you don't fight, the, if you, of course you have to fight the boss. If you fight the boss and you don't draw, you might be thinking, oh, did I miss it for the game? You might as well have. I'm just going to hit you with that. You might as well have. Ah, there we go. Whew. Perpetually yellow playthrough. Perfect on that one. Oops. Not perfect on that one. 
I can't remember if this person's gotten a turn. Uh oh, he's getting a turn. Storm breath. Well. That was moderately damaging. Pretty much whoever you bring into battle with you is just support for Squall. <laughs> to make sure you can Phoenix down him and just punch him if he gets out of yellow health a little bit. That's pretty much my my strategy for the game. It's up for debate. Some people might just GF it the whole time. Uh, it's not illegitimate. It's a thing in the game. They left it in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself. So satisfying seeing that perfect. It'd be nice if you use Rough Divide once in a while. I'm in a little danger. He's dying a lot. I only have two Phoenix Downs left. Oh god. Anarchy. Why would you let me do it? Huh. Uh -oh. It doesn't matter if your character dies. Because your character doesn't have abilities to learn for AP. It does matter if your GFs die, they will not get the AP. So if Squall dies, it's really fine. Um, you don't get experience for a boss, of course. I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Still feel bad. This is it for him a little bit. Every hit that you do on this individual, he just seems like he's just dying. He's, he's so hurt. Like he's gasping for breath. He does a lot of damage. I should probably heal these guys because it would be a shame if everybody died. I would not be super happy. This boss isn't that hard. Everybody does. We'll have Zell do a potion just because it's pretty interesting to look at, and he's definitely going to need it because he's taken some uh, damage. They stand so stiff. It's phenomenal. Wait for it. Because we're on a weight gauge. He's just like getting ready to get hosed down or something. The water's going to be cold. I'm going to just go kill Squall again. I'd be a little disappointed. How dare you! My GFs are also heavily damaged, so I might be in a little danger. You, you can hit it for all you want. Not for a crit, though. You give them an inch and they take a mile. Wretched bosses. Fast different. Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> He's ready to summon, so he disappears and he hits cell. Oh, it's being spirited. Oh, you can really die anytime now. I hit you with like seven Renzo Kukens. Why are you still here? That's such a crazy move too. It sounds like some really... F that sounds like a finisher from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, he's gonna kill both of them. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, they're not getting AP. Alright, Zell's yellow. You know what that means. We're gonna see if I can input codes really fast while Selfie attacks, so I have a minute. Oh, don't keep hitting him, though. Alright, 
I'm not very good at this. Uh, up, down. Woo! It is entirely dependent on how quick you can do your combos. So you can do it pretty good. And of course you learn your combos from... Read magazines. Oh no! Oh. Ah, oh, I killed him. Thank God. <laughs> Squall's still dead, though. That's not good. Both our GFs are dead, though. That's not good. He dies magnificently. He didn't even need ascending. Final Fantasy X reference. PM. Just in case you didn't know, military time. Once you go past 12, it goes 13 up to 24. So if you see any of those, just subtract 12, and that's what time it is in the afternoon. Tonight. The more you know. Hope Squall's back to life. He's not back to life. Oh yeah, you get weapons research magazines, which are pretty nifty because they show you items, weapons for your team, and uh, things that you need to be able to craft said things. It's pretty nifty. It's the only way to learn how to get their best weapons and stuff, which is pretty crazy that you can learn your best weapon from a magazine. It must be a really phenomenal publication. I really wish tents brought back people to life. I don't think that's... Oh! Tents do bring people back to life. We're gonna save, because this next part's... <laughs> something fierce. And when I say something fierce, it's... It's not Hedgehog Pig on Disc 3 in Final Fantasy IX while you're a frog levels of annoying and bad. But something close. I saw a post from Squeenix saying that this thing can supposedly die. I didn't watch the video because I thought it was fake news, but... That's aggressive. Apparently it can die though. I don't really believe him. And you don't necessarily have to be in yellow health, you just have to be in just a lower health can potentially pop it off for you. Not when you miss though, come on selfie, hit me when the nunchucks. Uh oh, might not need to after this. The yellow health bar is a dangerous style of play that few have mastered and many have attempted. You die a lot. Why is everybody missing? <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Here we go. 
go. Oh, first time perfect. Rob divide him. Rain of two. Yeah, I'll kill this thing. He just knock it down. I'm gonna just spoil it for you. It's not that exciting. You just knock it down, you run away. You try and run away. We're gonna run away together, folks. As long as he doesn't end my life. Boy, he needs it. He deserves it. Ah, I missed one. Ah, I missed two. I fell apart. I fell apart. I disappointed you all. I'm sorry. Every time I don't get a perfect Renzo Kuka, I'm just gonna really. Oh no, he's dead. I didn't revive them. really isn't my first real day of just contrary to popular growing belief. Everyone's dead. <laughs> what am I doing? Just stalk something selfie. I don't know what to tell you. Renzo Kukin it is to the return of the yellow health bar. Not quite the even 30 minutes. this like oh, what is this they they wouldn't even see you they, they wouldn't expect their teammate to hit you so they'd just be like oh, how much damage does that do not enough thank god I'm starting to get a little worried <laughs> God. Alright, L2, R2 buttons to escape. Yes. You can kill it, you can figure out what's gonna happen in a moment. It'll be something different. I don't know what to tell you. I don't believe you can kill it. I just don't. Oh, I only have one potion. I didn't even equip Siren. My lord. My hubris. My hubris is high. Who's getting Siren? First off. Let's just fix ourselves real quick here. Renzo Kukin guy needs Ifrit. Alright, you see him on the ground? He looks all comfy cozy, huh? He's not gonna stay there. Oh! Dang it. At least I revived my GFs this time. What's up? Oh, I... I did a no-no. I know what you're thinking. Why are you using an elixir right now? Fine, and you'll see why in probably chapter six to seven. I can't guarantee which one. Times may vary. Alright, we understand. We're moving on. There's a ray bomb. The GFs are super squishy. My time is dwindling. weak to 
Thunder, by the way. So if we had Elemental Attack Junction, we could be going pretty well. Audio is a little buggy on Shiva, we've noticed. A little unfortunate. GFs are totally gonna die the next. I'm just gonna say the next time he shows up and fights us, which is gonna be now. Breathe. <sighs> I can go to hell. And a hand basket. If there was a cheat to do 9999 damage, I would do it right now. At least one more time. Oh, why are you repairing already? He's down, folks. Let's run. Thank you. Thank you. I know I didn't get experience. You don't have to tell me. I didn't kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Remember that beautifully long bridge that we saw before? The one with the great view? Yeah, it's pretty hard to avoid him on that bridge. I.e. I'm not going to be able to avoid him because he just jumps over me. There he goes. If you think you're going to be slick and you're going to run in the other direction, I guess who just jumps again? That's right. Him. You might be able to double back at that point. I don't know. I haven't dealt with that this much. This is a stressful time period. I'm timed. I just attacked myself. Get my bearings. Get my bearings. I just noticed that the fast speed doesn't affect the timer. There's not quite anything in this. Like Final Fantasy IX, but it's maybe sort of exploitative. But that's good. Selfie has a crazy. It shows up. Oh, there we go. Ooh. She just casts magic, and it can be like one to three times. I don't know how you make it stronger, I don't know how you make it better. Uh. You can just sit there and you can gamble away, you just keep on do- oh! She has- oh, I'm talking, I'm commentating, I'm not inputting buttons. I got 0.6 seconds, I'm just gonna stare at it prettily. But yeah, she does have very- she does have specific things that she can do if you just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Fret not, Sophie's only here for a time. That's not a spoiler, because it's very vague. How long of a time? We don't know yet. Stay tuned every Friday, 10 p.m. Final Fantasy. Slow in the evil forest. Squall slow now. Oh, keep running. Come on now, it's a cutscene.
pulling that butterfly trigger. Hello. Shy. Four, five, two. Excellent number choices. And I gotta say, you can kill him, but is it really worth losing such a cutscene? I don't know if you do lose the cutscene, but I'm just saying. Quist is blown away on a 50 cal, like. I wouldn't give that up for whatever probably garbage that they give you if you kill him. They give you a pat on the back, no experience, one AP. Nah. Butterfly trigger it is. Excellent. That's the jive. Good numbers. Glad they're they were picked well. And they took our thing. Yes, after such a harrowing experience, let us walk walk along. We see on the right, their right, Balam, Balam Hotel. I don't know. This is the furthest I've made it. <laughs> well, uh, oh, I was gonna say something smart, but there's supposed to be a safe point here. Okay, I'm just going to check myself for a moment. I'm going to hold that on the inside because that was going to be something witty I was going to say. We need no roads. Just cut along. And we're back. Look at this. Just such a harrowing experience. Just some I'm tired and going to bed. Yeah, no big deal. We just went to a neighboring country, nation, I guess, and just, you know, killed enemy soldiers and disrupted an invasion, got attacked by a giant robot, got attacked by a giant monster, uh, got to see Quistus pull that butterfly trigger, slaying it with the 50. But see ya. Not a big deal. Let's go back to my bed, relax. Zimzel. I think Zell's great. I think they're all pretty great. Uh, do I? Yeah. Spoken like such a warmonger zoo. It's good to see Sid not as 
a part of the backdrop. If you missed it, it was pretty crazy. Sid was quite the pixelated mess that did not carry over in the remaster. Did not pass QC, not ISO 9001 certified. I really hope I have to go this direction. Sorry folks, I don't, I have to go down and go right. It's been a few years, it's been a few years. It was a triggered response to Sid. <laughs> Something more angsty. Backdrop. you all but the garden stuff's pretty creepy. That's his name now? Yeah, good old backdrop. Backdrop Sid. specifically make that little tiny section a highlight just to accentuate how ridiculous it looked. That was great. I really appreciated it. I wasn't even mad at the air. So keep an eye out for the highlight called Mr. Backdrop. How do I trigger this? Let's go. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it is. Uh, speaking of weird, let's talk to her real quick. Yep. All caps. Imagine just talking to somebody who... <laughs> they say, hey, what's up? And they just yell in your face. Rage. What? Stop. Alright. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy again. Probably would have passed the test if they didn't take so long trying to harmonize footsteps and snaps. 
That's just me. Yes, continue backdrop. I'll stop. on stuff. This bed mine's probably going to say too much yellow health. Fail. Everybody's happy, they're running around the hallway. It's a great time. Next hallway. <laughs> yep. And getting constantly interrupted by his own staff. Let's not forget about that one. He's got quite the resume. Conduct, 40 points, it's too much yellow health. Judgment, zero. You died a lot because of too much yellow health. I, I don't know why I got zero points for attack. I got a lot of perfect Renzo Kukens, okay? That one I don't agree with. Spirit, 50 points. You did survive a lot of yellow health. Attitude, 30 points. Too much attacking yourself. <laughs> Makes it easy, too easy. Got seed rank 3, that's terrible. Grape juice, sir. They're all seventeen. sense now. What makes sense? I must know. I mean, I didn't help you 
find your way around the garden. I don't know why I'd do that. I'm just gonna sip my grape juice. <laughs> uh. Again, fine details in the remaster. That was Squall laughing. Could you tell that in the PS1? Now you just thought it was a graphics kind of freaking out because maybe the guy typing spilled his coffee on his keyboard. You don't know. That was him laughing. I appreciate that. Schoolboy could magically learn how to dance like that that quickly. It probably wouldn't be too much of a nightmare. What a dance prodigy. <laughs> gonna take the reality TV scene by storm is that reality TV I don't really know I don't have TV or watch TV so not that that particularly means anything but I guess if you're looking at a TV guide it might tell you
Man, that went bad for her quick. It's gonna be my last order. Oh boy, let's navigate this. Guess <laughs> with video game stars. Starring Squall, Leonhart, Leonhart, whatever his last name is, I don't remember. Zidane Tribal, Dartfeld, Kaim. That's a Dragon Guard reference. Phenomenal game. I love it. Most people probably wouldn't. I don't know who else. A bunch of people. Keeping the train rolling. We're going to go tell people to go back to their rooms because it's past curfew. Because we have the power of no encounters. I wonder if these guys just stand there all night long. It really adds to the cynicism of them further than their creepy outfits. So real quick, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna, that's a big text bubble for just well. When she says, have you fought a T-Rex or I don't know Squally first off you'd know it literally looks like it sounds second off you can defeat it quite easily by junctioning sleep with status J no you cannot it's got a lot of HP you might be able to defeat it after you sit there for about 17 minutes and 45 seconds Renzo cooking it to death while Quistus has status J constantly hoping that you can put it to sleep and then if you don't it'll bite your head off what a liar I feel like they were just like you know what we're gonna he's probably whoever's been playing this is probably having an easy time so we're just gonna throw him in there to start running around find a T-Rex R and you're like hey I'm just gonna put you to sleep and then 10 minutes into it you're just like no, this was a terrible idea. Speaking of terrible ideas, I thought this was going to be quick, and then I just remembered something. But we're committed now, we're not going to stop here. That's a weak move. Your moves are weak. Google that, it's a great video. I don't remember what the video is. I used blind in one of. I forgot how you learn her her abilities. I never use her. Just cause I don't know. Maybe it's just cause I didn't realize that her blue magic is pretty good, but I don't know how you learn her abilities, because of course Quistus ain't no Quena, even though I just made that realization. First three letters are the same. I should have named her Quena for this game. I totally would have. Ah, oh, missed opportunities. Damn. Another thing about draw points, I've gone over hidden ones. Uh, they will refill over time. Some of them will just never refill ever again. You won't know it until a disc later or something. You go back thinking, I'm going to get some more from this draw point. It's a wellspring of phenomenal things for me to be able to acquire. And you go there after trekking and slogging and getting there and you're like, oh, draw point not available. Joke's on you. Oh, from items. Right, the items you get you use on her. Thank you for that, because I would have continually forgotten to look that up. I guarantee you every single one of those students out there do not have turn off encounters in their life. So they're going through a lot of heartache and pain 
just a cuddle. Disintegrate. I think I remember that one from like the heyday. This is a weird character. Like, very awkward. But it's like on purpose. It's not like bad writing or anything. She's just awkward. <laughs> Sorry about my spelling. You're plenty fine. I didn't even notice that there was an A there. I just went with it. capital O's lowercase f I don't know what you expected though like come on girl don't set yourself up like that you gotta treat yourself right Squall can't even treat himself right <laughs> so don't know what you were expecting seeing as how I've done no battles the Bay of Venom Fang doesn't yep Silence was large in part due to thinking that I'd misremembered this part. This boss is pretty cool. It looks cool. I love the designs. Especially remastered. Beautiful. Some crazy tripped out screen. Some coverage. Did you quest to set up? It was a French Oh, I didn't. That's pretty cool, too. Dire wealth of knowledge. I love it. Finding out little stuff like that is pretty cool. Alright, speed it up a little bit. We can only watch the seven so many times and I'm not strong enough yet to just attack constantly. Nor do I have any Phoenix Downs to uh, <laughs> be yellow health in it right now. As do I, Smatter, as do I. Alright, speed up. 
Oh wow, we got rid of them pretty quick. Exceptionally weak. I don't remember if he has any decent attacks. <laughs> when they tell you that... Yeah, trigger on yourself. Triggered. <laughs> when they tell you that, you know, actions in battle can decrease your score, they probably specifically mean attacking yourself to get yellow health. But that's just the kind of style I go. Miss. <laughs> Damn it. I like the upswing. Why would you crit on me? <laughs> Yellow health is a dangerous game, folks. Oh god. Perfect. Oh, cool. I mean, searcher. I dig that. Six hits. That seven hit is beautiful. That's what you aim for. And ended his life. Thank God. Squall had four health. I was really hoping I got a perfect right there. Searching out these... These triggers. But... I'll just talk about it after the fact. Because I didn't do a good job. Sorry. Mercenaries and ninjas. Okay. Oh, Kistis. Is that I say it right? Kistis? Lord Squall <laughs> says who as they walked away and they can't hear you. New rooms, they're great. They're just such an upgrade right across the hall. what I had in my mind to aim for I think I had a roving and end point in my mind that continuously shifted to the right as we went along but I think it's very fitting right before our first seed mission that we save that first seed mission and a chance encounter with something called Diablo for next week uh, I 
Great, co great conversing. I appreciate it, Smatter and four five two. I hope you don't mind four five two, Kestis, but it sounds like a Y in there. Oh wow, <laughs> this is interesting. It makes you realize and wonder how many things you say wrong on the daily. But yes, conversing like that, I appreciate it. More everybody, everybody's showing up. Everybody's here right now. More than welcome. Every Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern, Final Fantasy VIII for the foreseeable future. It's exciting. It's been many years. I've had a good time. Just loving all of everything, even backdrop Sid. Which keep an eye out for that highlight. That is gonna feel good to clip that three seconds of my life. But until next time, folks. Real quick, Resident Evil 2 tomorrow night, the Saturday Scream presents. If you missed last week, don't worry. You couldn't hear me anyway because I didn't have my headphones plugged in. I will have them plugged in tomorrow so you can see the sounds that I make. It'll be a good time, don't you worry. Until next time, folks, it's been good. It's been fun. Just eight winks for Final Fantasy VIII.